Hey, this is a, I just woke up and I'm having an impromptu freaking BB meltdown. So we're going to listen. I keep seeing way too many people on my timelines and my scrolls talking about how hard work leads to success. And I'm like, y'all need to stop saying that because it's not true at all. And yes, I'm going to use a life example because that's what we're doing here. I'm going to tell you a story about the ghost and the hard work he did. When I met him, he was a valet at a casino in town and got paid 20 to $26 an hour in tips to do what he called running around in big circles. And the first place that he worked, he got injured. He hurt his ankle and he hurt it really bad. Not bad enough to quit, not bad enough for a workman's comp, not bad enough for surgery. No, just bad enough where it became a lifelong injury the entire time I knew him. Vegas gets hot. He's running in 115, 120 degree heat. You know, there's dudes dropping off. Does that sound like hard work? That sounds like really hard work. That sounds like really thankless work. Why was he doing work so hard? Because he wanted to be promoted to working the podium instead of having to run around in big circles. The harder he worked, he thought he would get promoted. Did he? No. No. He ended up leaving that place to go work at another casino running around in big circles where he injured his knee. And his hard work got him in the booth while he was healing. It didn't get him promoted. All that hard work for nothing. And then eventually he got unable to do that kind of work. So he's like, okay, I need to do something else in my life. He liked computers. He was really getting interested in web design and web development. So he went to school for a communications degree and, um, you know, full scholarship for that, except he's putting in 26 hours per semester while he's still working in the booth. So he's doing all of these hours and he eventually got a job as an intern for 10 bucks an hour. Got to start somewhere though, yeah? Well, everyone starts out at the bottom. And so he was working at the bottom and he kept moving up and moving up and moving up. And he eventually went from $10 an hour intern to making about $56,000 a year over time. And then about right before C19 happened, he was making 80 grand a year and he had stock options. He had health insurance. That sounds like success, doesn't it? And then C19 happened, he was laid off first round a week before his birthday. All that hard work led to nothing. Hard work leads to nothing. You don't have to work hard. You just have to do the work. That's all it is. There's no reason to destroy your body and your mind on doing hard work that, one, people are not going to want to see because people are going to want to, especially management, is going to want to keep you in a situation where you are because that's where they need you. They don't want you competing with them because they're already having enough problems on their end. They don't want to deal with you as competition because they want to keep their job because they worked hard for that as well. Do you see where I'm going with this? If not, where I'm going with this is just do the fucking work. Enjoy your life. Enjoy it. Because without enjoying what you're doing, like, what are you doing? Ask anyone who's worked hard all their life only to have all of their hard work be taken away from them. Now they don't feel like a success. Now they feel like a failure because they're using the rules of society that tell you to work hard and you'll be successful. No, all that will fall apart at anyone's whim at any time. And I'm not here to be doom and gloom. This, this is observable reality. If you do not know how to create your reality, if you don't know how to create your reality, you're going to stay in a work hard equals success trap and you're never going to get there.